Hello and welcome to this video where we will learn some of the debugging and diagnostics capabilities of Cyperf. In tutorial 5, we went through the statistics of a run test and we saw it's a great place to find out overall test performances but also find out if there are issues like there are retries, timeouts and any such sort of issues that might have happened, handshake failures, packet drops, you might be able to see them in the statistics. But if you need a much in-depth debug, sometimes you also need to enable captures. So for that, if you click on any of those agents like I showed you right now, you can enable traffic pack capturing for any of the agents that are shown as visible. So for example, this is my one of the physical agents and I can then select the size of my capture that I want and you can enable it in multiple on multiple agents like you can go to the server side where I have this second agent added and enable capturing here as well and I can have different sizes in each of these agents. So I'll just do the update. Now packet capturing has been enabled. Now when you start the test, the test will start running and it would start capturing packets, the last 10 MB for the client and the last 50 MB for the server and this would give us some insights on what's happening in the test in terms of per packet analysis. So I'll go and to download this packet capture, I have to go to this browse results. And here you will see which all tests are completed and which all tests are running. And in any of these tests, you'll be able to download CSV of this test, which basically is a collection of CSVs of that all the results, a, a report, or the last option is the capture. So after the test is stopped, when you download this capture, it would download the capture for all the agents that you have used for this test. Now I have downloaded the CSVs, the PDF and the packet capture in this location. You see CSV gets downloaded as a zip file which you can unzip and if you go into it, it would show you all this statistics that was available in real time statistics being saved as CSVs and you can go and uh, detect much in-depth uh, information out of each of them. If you want to, you can also use automation framework to determine pass-fail criteria. So you can see this time series cha chart of what has happened. Uh, similarly, if I go to the PDF, the PDF provides me overview of what has happened. It's kind of a quick summary to learn about the key things that has happened in this test, application throughput, the percentage distributions, not too much details but enough to know your status of this particular test and some details like how many attacks were allowed, what was my instantaneous latencies, basically everything that you can see in the, st in the statistics page and probably a little more. Now in the similarly when I downloaded capture it too downloads a zip file called results underscore this and if you unzip this file you will see the packet capture stored here. So let's do that. I have unzipped one of the file and you can see the ca capture and if you open the capture it basically tells you how the transaction happened and you can go into more depth in-depth uh, analysis of the packets and that's on the downloading of PDFs and CSVs and captures if let's say the test has something gone wrong and you want to collect the diagnostics to send to the support team you can go to the settings and click on collect diagnostics it generally takes collect the diagnostics not just from the ui but also from individual agents sometimes it might take a little more time so please uh, be a little bit patient with it but eventually this diagnostics will have all the information that uh, key site team can use to understand the problems i hope that you found this tutorial helpful and thanks a lot for listening.